Ho, ho, here we go. Let's see if I can get rid of this. And we are live. My name is Steve Jaguar. This is another Beer Native Beer comparison and a review. Battle of the Black IPAs. We have got the Electric Worry from Bane the Elephant. Interesting name for a brewery. Never heard of them before. Apparently based in Nottingham, just over there. How did I not know about this? And then, of course, we have, oh, I can just show you, Electric Worry and Black Mass from Abbey Dale. We're going to see which one's better. We're going to do a comparison. We're going to learn a little bit more about the breweries because I didn't necessarily know. Uh, well, let's get started. Alrighty then. Here we go. Electric Worry. I don't normally do comparisons. I've done it before, but I thought I had two of these from two different... Love the art, right? This is really quite cool. I don't understand it, but that doesn't matter. We have a 6%... Black IPA, brewed and canned at Bang the Elephant in Derbyshire. That's weird. It, this is this is England for you, right? Derbyshire is not Nottinghamshire, and yet it has an NG, which is a Nottingham postcode. And oddly, I used to live in a location that had the exact same thing. Thoroughly confusing. We can learn a little bit more about it there. But hard to read. Sweet chocolate malts, West Coast hops, solid base. Great idea. Everything they said is how you should make a black IPA. So, and then of course we have Black Mass. I actually quite like the art on this one. 6.66%, come on. That's pretty badass. And, you know, definitely more readable. They're using Green Bullet. Green Bullet, wow, okay. Columbus and Cascade Hops. Again, a little bit West Coast, but maybe, maybe a little bit more conservative. I don't know. Uh, dark Chocolate Coffee. Fruitcake and raisins. Very nice, right? Heck of a battle. Now, it's hard not to be biased when you're tasting beers because I look at fancy art. It, I've done a whole thing on marketing. You can go check that out. I'll stick it up here uh, if you're watching in the future. Bang the Ele Elephant's logo and art seems a bit modern, right? I quite like that. It looks a little bit 3D. Pretty cool. Whereas I can't help but be influenced by the fact that Abbeydale looks old. Like it looks like old school uh, pulled pint beers in the UK. And that makes me wonder if they have existed for a long time and they realize they're missing out on the craft beer market. Um, and so they went, oh gosh, I better get involved with that. A black IPA for a, a brewery that's kind of more historic. That's probably a, a, a not a bad entry point. It's unique. They got cool art, and it involves malt as opposed to hops, so it's more of a safe zone for them. Um, in order to confirm those suspicions, and normally I don't go to the, the the history until after I've tasted it, but I did in this case, and I'll show you what I found. If you're thinking Abbeydale, here is Abbeydale's website. It kind of looks dated, right? I think. It's a little, I mean, these look cool, no doubt about that, but the website looks a little crusty, I thought. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm being overly picky. I think I think some of these look quite good. Look at that, they won an award. And then I went to Bang the Elephant, and for some reason I thought, um, you know, small, um, finely crafted small batch beers, something about it looked a little more modern. Uh, but I didn't see much in it. Like, this website's barely there. I'm starting to think it's a little bit like Spookton. If you go check out the interview I did with John Pugh at Spookton, maybe it's just a few people borrowing space. And you can see right here at Abbeydale, they did, Black Mass is a pulled pint. There it is right there. And yet, here it is in a can. So I don't know. This is going to be a really fascinating competitive battle of the Black Eyed Peas, which is already kind of an oddball, enigmatic style of beer in the first place. So let's crack open the Electric Worry and see. If you got any black IPAs and you're watching this now or in the future, please suggest them. All right. Uh, keep track for me. Electric Worry is going into the glass with the black decoration. And Black Mass will go into the green decoration, which kind of makes no sense. Uh, it's counterintuitive. So let's, fit, let's put black mass into the black glass. 
It rhymes. So happy I changed that so I can say that. It smells like coffee the moment I opened it, which is nice. Thick, black, fuzzy little Coke-like head. Not too bad. And very coffee. Green glass. Yeah, kind of green. Let's do that. How do they compare just on appearance? Oh, way more foamy on the head. Check that out. That is more stouty than it is frothy. A little darker as well. Let's see them side by side. Let's do this. See how this one's got a slightly lighter head, so indicating maybe less aggressive on the malt than I would expect. But it is... Let's do bang the elephant first in the green glass. They smell completely different. Completely different. This is like a coffee stout. This is like, um, like I don't know what to call it, arrowroot biscuits. All right, let's try that. Electric worry. Okay, heavy West Coast hop. A lot lighter on the malt. A lot lighter. This is the one that was really hard to uh, to read because it's like they printed all the descriptors in almost like invisible ink on here. But sweet chocolate malt, West Coast, really hitting me with the hops. Really eased off. More like a dark chocolate on the malt. Quite good. Wants to be coffee, but because I smelled the other one, it was so so like that i didn't really it seems like nothing and i come out of that can generously hopped aromas of dark chocolate coffee and burnt toast why is that a good thing all right i feel like i need some cheese now we're going to go with the black mass just so we can remind you it's that one I think the big differentiating factor between the two is this is pretty hop centric. Try this one more time. I would actually, I'm going to go back to this one more time. Even though this has more traditional West Coast hops uh, in it, this still does. It does have a, hot, a solid hot backbone. And I don't know if it's the extra 0.6%, but it's punchier than this one. This one's actually flavors a little lacking now. Final head to head, make a verdict, and then get out of here. Just West Coast. This is a West, almost like a West Coast IPA. If you close my eyes... I might even not even know it was a, it was a black uh, IPA, which is a black IPA, by the way. Six of one, half dozen of the other. They're both quite good. I think Bang the Elephant uh, hits the nail on the head in terms of if you were to say like the way a white stout. Close your eyes. You sip a, a you know an amber or a light colored beer, and it has all the characteristics of a frothy delicious stout this has done a great job of tricking me into thinking that i'm having a lovely west coast ipa but chasing that out and, and smothering my palate in something that's uh distinctive and malty and kind of chocolatey which is pretty rare for an ipa this is definitely way more malt forward i i like the fact that it's 6.6 percent. i think that's it's been really functional for it it has a backbone of hops, but it's not as punchy. And I think they're both quite good. I don't want to say one's better. I would say Electric Worry caters to my taste because I love West Coast IPAs. But there's no reason why. I know people who would definitely side toward this one. Both good. Uh, and I, in their own right. I don't think I necessarily have a winner here. I have a preference, but not necessarily a winner. Both great jobs at making black IPAs. So I would say if you can find them, and you can, 
You can definitely get Black Mass, both in terms of pulled pine and can from Abbeydale. And you can get Electric Worry uh, from Bang the Elephant. So go check out both those breweries. Buy both. I bought them both at the same time at Craft Metropolis, just like my last review. So if you just don't want to, you just want to get a big mess, go try Craft Metropolis. Great, uh, great bottle and can shop. And that's the end. Two solid black IPAs. I'm really happy about that. Both are going to be upper three dot whatevers. I don't know the cross into the four. Not that good, you know. Not great. It's tough for a black IPA to just blow your mind, but it certainly is a fascinating uh, style of beer uh, to tap into. I don't think I could sit and have. I, of black IPAs all night. I would probably struggle to finish the two of these now that I've realized I've opened two beers at once, both 6%. Could be a short night. That's what's going to happen. All right. Thanks for watching. Now and in the future, tell your friends, subscribe, talk more about beer, try good beer. This will be my last review, I think. I might do one more next week. Never know before I end up back in Toronto and you'll see some more exciting beers from me there. But yeah, I will do one more. I promise I will do one more. There you go. There's my promise. Otherwise, that's the end. This has been a Beer Native Beer Review. Keep drinking great beer. Steve out.